this sucks so bad because Scarlet Witch is one of my all-time favorite Marvel female characters, especially in the Marvel Studios version. And I went nuts when she was tearing Thanos apart in Endgame. And she could have easily killed him because that's just how powerful she is. Even Kevin Feige confirmed this. I really don't have much to say about WandaVision Season 1 because, first off, I didn't like the first two episodes from the start. Not because it was paying homage to sitcoms, because I was expecting that, and I was like, alright, this, this looks interesting, let's see what they do with it. But last time I checked, a sitcom is supposed to be funny and make you laugh, <laughs> and the comedic performances were absolutely horrible, and I watch a lot of sitcoms. You're supposed to laugh in a sitcom, not just sit there and be like, okay, they're trying to be funny, but they're not. And everyone kept telling me, trust me, it will pay off in the end. Okay. Okay, even though I had a bad feeling about it. And look, I'm not here to uh, bash the show. Because despite it being very disappointing for me, the acting performances were absolutely top-notch. And I believe that Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany should win an Oscar for their performances because they did a very good job. And I love the return of Kat Dennings, although many people hate her character from the Thor films. And Katherine Hahn was absolutely amazing as Agatha Harkness. And the only moment where it got me really excited is when Evan Peters showed up as Quicksilver down to the very same look as his X-Men character with the hair. Now the question is, why would you intentionally fuck with fans' emotions like that? Everyone, including yours truly, got so excited because we all assumed that this was Quicksilver from the X-Men universe, but man, that turned out to be one hell of a fucking boner. That pissed a lot of people off. Now, you all know for a fact that this was Marvel Studios' way, once again, of giving us all the fans, okay, the motherfucking finger. You would think they would have learned from the last fan outrage with the Mandarin twist in Iron Man 3, yet it's the Marvel apologist puppets that's willing to accept anything that's thrown at them and still praise that garbage of a film. With that annoying kid who wouldn't shut the fuck up and the constant Christmas-themed reindeer shit. I mean, what's next? You gonna have Tom McGuire show up in Spider-Man 3 as a pizza delivery guy and Andrew Garfield as like a skateboarder just to give another fuck you to the fans? Oh look, that was just a hypothetical question. I am not allowed to confirm or deny anything, but I'm just proving a point. Can you blame the fans for being that pissed off? Why would you go as far as to doing that and making fans assume that and all of a sudden, it was like as if a massive bitch slap was heard all across the universe by Marvel Studios. Why? Why are you going to piss off the fan base like that to troll them? That's fucked up. I honestly don't know what else to say about WandaVision except that I'm looking forward to the Snyder Cut, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier that actually looks good, and Godzilla vs. Kong. At least those films won't disappoint. Hopefully, you never know. And the thing is, you know, about WandaVision, you know, is it, it had a very slow start to begin with, and it didn't end with a bang, it ended with a blank, especially with the massive bitch slap that I mentioned before to every Marvel fan across the world. It was a horribly written show that pretended to reveal something, but never fully explained anything, leaving us fans with a lot of unanswered questions, which is not how you end a fucking TV show. Especially if you're not doing a second season, we all know it connects to two other films. Maybe the writers should take notes from Cobra Kai, which is 100% way better. Okay? And I mean, look, when a director himself warns everyone prior to the last episode that some Marvel fans will not be happy with the ending, he wasn't kidding. Because they knew they done fucked up everyone's expectations. And it honestly has nothing to do with those fan theories. Fuck the fan theories. Because every film has those. It's just the way you deliver it, and it wasn't impressive at all for a show that was pissing and boring people off to begin with, and expecting at least a big payoff in the end. And look, the final battle scene was really lame, considering how epic majority of the final battle scenes from the Marvel films have delivered. Please, spare me... This was a TV show and not a Marvel movie excuse. Because the difference is that a Marvel film only has two hours to tell a story and do action-packed scenes. This show had more than fucking five hours put together. 
And when it was all bullshit from the first episode until the very end, that's when we had something going on. I mean, look, the trailers for Falcon and the Winter Soldier had more action than this entire season of WandaVision. No excuses. The only good outcome out of this show was the Scarlet Witch costume reveal, which I really loved, and it looks so epic. By the way, Daniel RBK, you said that the first time we're going to see her in that costume is Doctor Strange 2. Well, guess what? Wrong! Exactly. I don't know why people bother paying attention to that fucking ass hat. I felt like I was at a five hour strip club and the final lap dance gave me fucking blue balls. That's how WandaVision felt for me. Yet for other fans, they don't care. They still loved it, willing to accept and make excuses for this garbage because it's in the MCU. If it wasn't in the MCU, forget about it. People would be tearing this shit apart. I'm so sorry, but, you know, given that it's Marvel Studios, we deserved way better than this shit. And I'm not here to sugarcoat shit because it's what you want to hear. Get that fucking straight. I've been telling you guys for a long time. I don't get easily amused and pleased with whatever Marvel Studios throws at me. I will call things out regardless if it's Marvel or DC. I mean, at least WandaVision wasn't as bad as uh, Wonder Woman 1984 or Captain Marvel. And I thank God that Thanos knocked her out of the fucking movie in Endgame. I got up and fucking clapped. The look on her face was fucking priceless. Fuck Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. So, until next time, on the same spider time, same spider channel, and same spider place. Spidey Woman out. Thanks, Tiger. You just hit the jackpot. Woohoo!